Let's talk a little bit right now about what rich internet applications are, how they evolved, and what software Adobe is providing to enable this revolution to happen. It's funny, but uh, in technology, just like in every other world, sometimes you go back to the basics. And in many ways, people are looking at rich internet applications and are saying, is this just a rebirth of what used to exist with mainframe applications? But I would submit that it's actually a completely different paradigm using some of that same technology. From mainframes, we saw a client server, and today's enterprise applications, frankly, are still stuck between either mainframe or client server, where through websites, you now have the ability to interact with the transaction systems that people use to transact business, but you don't have true ubiquity of those applications when you are disconnected from the internet. The power of rich internet applications is that you have access to the information you desire when you want it and where you want it. And so what rich internet applications have to do is recognize that customers are sometimes disconnected or customers are sometimes on different devices and make sure that the offering that they have is tailored to both those situations. What are some of the technology trends that are underlying uh, this evolution of rich internet applications? The first thing we have to do as technology providers is to make sure that we separate data from UI. And for those of you in the technology space, that sounds simple, but it really is about saying that if you have a core data model that you use to run your transaction systems, that the user experience that is then delivered can be personalized both for the device as well as for the customer because every single one of us desires a more personalized experience, whether it's with Amazon, whether it's with iTunes, because one has already transacted business with them. The reality is we're here in a world where open standards are here to stay. Whether you look at XML as an open specification which enables us to accomplish interoperability, or whether you look at web services at the back end, where every single service that a company provides needs to be available as a web service so people can create these mashups and interoperability. We are truly in a world where we are separating data and UI as well as truly enabling client-server interactions. One of the key facets of rich internet applications is that today the computing power is really using computing power to develop and deliver rich internet applications. At Adobe, we think that there are four areas that people need to think of. And clearly, from a user perspective, it is all about applications. When you have an application like iTunes, which combines the power of a desktop, the power of the web, and the power of a device, it is an experience that's very pleasing to customers. But in order to develop applications like that, there are three aspects that companies need to think about. The first, and we think the most important, is clients. One has to have ubiquity of clients across not just PCs and Macintoshes and Linux environments, but also increasingly across P uh, cell phones as well as set-top boxes. I like to say that there are over a billion people in China and India who will never use a PC to connect to the Internet. And so unless companies think about how they will access that information on, s on phones, they are missing a very significant opportunity. The advent of the web browser was all about the fact that one had a consistent environment across a variety of set-top boxes, a variety of PCs, it's now time to leverage that across a wider variety of devices. The way applications are developed today, typically you have a designer in a company, the designer designs the user experience that he or she wishes for the customer, and then they throw that over the wall to a developer who then tries to code it to the best of their abilities. But frequently there's a gap between that designer and developer and I think it's really important that we bridge that gap so that the design elements that a creative designer provides is truly represented by what the developer finally delivers. Creative Suite, which is our flagship application, enables us to deliver content seamlessly across print, web, video, and wireless. But in addition to that, we've been offering a number of tools for developers, tools like Flex Builder, which enable you to use Flex as a programming model and Flash as a ubiquitous runtime to deliver the engaging experience that I talked about. Our power has always existed in our clients. The reality is that the Adobe Reader is available on over 90% of the PCs that are connected to the internet, and Flash is available on over 99% of the PCs that are connected to the internet. 
just as an aside, I'm still looking for that 1% who don't have flash on their PC. So if you're one of them, do let me know and we'll be sure to fix that. In addition to that, we have HTML as a standard that's used on the web. And so the opportunity that exists on the client is to provide a ubiquitous client that leverages the power of these three great standards, Flash, PDF, and HTML. And what Adobe is providing on the servers and services front are our servers like Lifecycle, which enable an enterprise to deploy these rich internet applications in a scalable way. So for an enterprise or a government who wishes to automate their business process, we have Lifecycle that enables you to take an entire paper-based process and to automate it. For those of you who wish to create rich media interactive websites, we have technology like Flash Media Server, which are frankly fueling the explosion of Flash video that fuels over 99% of the websites that exist today. And Flashcast is a new service. It's a nascent service, but what Flashcast enables you to do is offer push-based services across a variety of cell phones across the world. In fact, Docomo has introduced a Flashcast service in Japan and has over 10 million subscribers where things like news, weather, and sports are now all available on your particular cell phone. A new technology development that we've introduced called AIR, or the Adobe Integrated Runtime. And what the Adobe Integrated Runtime does is to leverage these three standards of PDF, Flash, and HTML and make them available in both an online and offline way. We think this notion of occasionally connected applications, where your application is sometimes connected to the internet and then is disconnected, is the way of the future. And what AIR also enables you to do is to integrate things like notifications so that when an information is changed on the internet, it's automatically pushed down to your client. 